Gene editing is a revolutionary molecular technique that we can use to make very precise changes to an organism's genetic code. For example, when, when we develop new varieties in conventional breeding, we use a lot of crosses. But when we cross this, the progeny won't have all of the trees that we want. So we need to cross again and again. So it takes up to five to seven years to make a new variety. So here at the Sainsbury uh, Laboratory, we developed a project named Tomelo. The Tomelo project is a very nice example of how we can use genome editing to make beneficial changes to a plant genome. In the context of agriculture, gene editing provides a method to uh, modify um, specific traits in a crop plant in a very short amount of time. And these are two very important factors, so the speed and the precision of genome editing. So currently we use a lot of chemicals uh, in the field to protect our crops. And the downside of this is that uh, pathogen can evolve resistance against them, so we have less and less options. So if we can make the plant resistant, we can reduce our use of chemicals in the field. So I was involved in making a tomato that is resistant to powdery mildew disease. In this project, we um, removed a small piece of DNA from a gene that is necessary for the pathogen to cause infection. So the way we did it is that we deleted uh, 48 letters in the genetic code of tomato in the genes that um, the pathogen uses to infect the plant. The tomato genome is approximately 1 billion letters long and from these letters we removed 48 letters. So this deletion made the gene uh, not functional anymore so the pathogen couldn't use it anymore uh, to infect the plants. And on the other hand, because this uh, tomato line is resistant to mildew, that means that we don't need to spray the tomato field with chemicals targeting mildew anymore. Importantly, we sequenced the whole genome of the resulting plants and thereby we could show that none other region of the genome was affected by the change we made. So we could really prove that we made a very specific change to the genome without affecting any other regions.